Patch kids and welcome to today's video if you don't know me hello my name is Rosa and I'm just your average Disney loving and spooky girl next door and today we are doing a November favorites video. So if you guys want to see my November favorites please make sure to keep on watching also please make sure to like this video if you liked it subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Briar Patch fam bam we have fun here all the time let's go ahead and get started before we start this video, I just want to let you guys know to stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to have a super favorite to show you guys, which is also an announcement part of this video. And can you guys please let me know in the comments below if you would like a December 2016 favorites video or a 2016 as a whole favorites video at the end of December because I'm trying to figure out which one I want to do. If I want to do the year one or if I want to do a December 2016. So let me know by commenting down below which one would you which one you would rather like to see. I'm gonna talk about makeup first, and then I'm gonna talk about skincare, and then I'm gonna talk about some food item that I really enjoy, and then after, we're gonna talk about some TV shows and movies. So let's go ahead and start off with my favorite lip product of the month, and this is actually a lip combo. It's what I'm wearing on my mouth right now, and it is just the Jouer Conditioning Lip Treatment. This is what it looks like. It is just a really nice lip treatment. It smells like roses. I love Jouer. I've actually used this before. In the past, I got this in a, in a Ipsy bag, I believe, once, and I'm wearing it underneath my liquid lipstick right now, and it makes your liquid lipstick like so much more flexible and a lot not more comfortable to wear because as we all know liquid lipsticks can be a little uncomfortable to wear sometimes especially if they're long wearing because they're supposed to be matte and they're supposed to stick to your lip. What I've been wearing on top of that like every day to work has been the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color 12 Loved and it is just this beautiful, you can see it on my lips, it's like a beautiful like burnt dusty rose shade is what I'm gonna call it. It has a little bit of like that orangey undertone, but it doesn't, it's not really, it's like more of like a rust rusty undertone with dusty rose. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's like a dusty rose rust color. And I will go ahead and swatch it as well so you guys can see it on my hand. That's what it looks like on my hand. I really love it. I think it's like the most beautiful shade for all year round, but of course it's gorgeous for autumn and winter. And I mean, I'm obsessed. So let's just go ahead and move on. But yeah, this is by Milani. I don't know if I actually said where it's from. It was by Milani and it is the Amore Matte Lip Cream in the color Love. Next is an oldie but a goodie and I have had this in the back of my eyeshadow palette drawer for probably a good year and haven't and I haven't used it but I have been decluttering recently. I am going to be putting these videos up soon. I still have to figure out what to do if I just want to make a whole week of just decluttering videos but that means there wouldn't be a creepy video or there wouldn't be a Disney video that week. We'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do. I just really want to put up this decluttering video because I started it like in the beginning of November and I still haven't uploaded it. So uh, let me know if you guys are okay with me doing a decluttering series like all week long. Let me know. But this is something I found while I was decluttering and this is the Inglot Freeform System Palette. And this is what it looks like. It is just five beautiful shades that I was able to pick. And this was like $25 or $30 back in the day. That was like five years ago. Now this is really expensive. So I'm holding on to this and I use it today actually for my eyes. So I will show you how my eyeball looks today. It's just like a really nice rusty color. And I think it's really, it's just a, it's just a great like everyday palette for me just because you guys know that I really love copper colors. So yeah, and these colors are really great. They're super pigmented as you can see. They're really creamy. They're a little bit of a kick up. There's a little bit of a kick up when you use this, but as long as you use the correct brushes, you're fine. So next is this mascara and this is the It Cosmetics Hello Lashes Mascara. It's the five in one clinically proven mascara. So I don't know what that means. All I know is it makes me look like I have longer lashes than I do and I'm actually wearing it today. That's why I'm making funny faces at the camera. And I just want to show you guys that, let me zoom in a little bit actually. So I just want to show you guys kind of how, it, how they look. They look super long and like I go through phases where I wear false lashes and I don't wear false lashes. So right now I'm in the phase where I just don't really want to wear false lashes. So this is a really, really great mascara for that. The wand is actually really cool as well. This is what the wand looks like. It is plastic or rubber bristles and it has a little ball on top so you can get um, the inner corner lash. Next is the liner that I'm wearing today and I'm obsessed with this liner. I think this is my new favorite liner and you guys know that I've been wearing, if you guys have been following me for a while, um, I usually use my e.l.f. Um, liquid liner but I have been loving this 
particular color and liner. So this is the Milani Stay Put Matte 17 Hour Wear Liquid Liner in the color Safari Matte. And it is just a forest green liner. And it's weird because I never thought of myself as a type to wear colored liner but I have been obsessing over this green one. I will actually go ahead and swatch it here for you guys as well to see. It is just a nice like mossy, almost mossy forest green olive shade and it is beautiful. I am obsessed with this color and this lasts such a long time. I've been wearing it like all of the holiday season. Well, like the November holiday season, I guess. And I have been obsessing over it. And as you can see, it just dried so quickly, you guys. Like. It dries so fast, so there is no smudging at all. Finally, we are going to be talking about a favorite brush of mine. And I have switched out my foundation brush, finally. I have been using my RC Cosmetics foundation brush forever. And I finally switched it out to this brush. Finally switched it out to this brush right here. And this is the Luxie, what is this called? This is the Luxie 532 Round Top Blender Brush. And it is pink and it has like this oil slick kind of rose gold like uh, I forget what these are called but again it is super dirty I because I just use it for my makeup but it, it is just this beautiful brush and I'm not really a fan of like pink brushes it's kind of a little girly for me but just the way this brush works it is so 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 dense you guys it is so dense but at the same time it's super flexible so it, it, it does a really good job blending out your mascara or mascara it is a really good job blending out your foundation and your concealer I use it for both concealer and foundation but of course this might be a little too big of a brush for some people to use underneath their eyes I'm I'm not really picky, I just kind of go like this, like right underneath my eye, and then I'll just blend it out onto my cheeks and downwards to kind of blend out the color. But I really love this. I do have three skincare items that I've been using this month. The first is the Derma E Purifying, what is this? Derma E Purifying Daily Detox Scrub with Marine Algae and Activated Charcoal, and it's a uh, mild exfoliant. This is what it looks like. And I have been obsessing over this. I haven't exfoliated my exfoliated my skin in such a long time because I just couldn't find the right product. The the Biore that I've been using, it's like a very mild exfoliant, so it doesn't really it doesn't have too many like exfoliating beads in it. But this has a lot of them, and it has been doing wonders for my skin. And I just think it's so good, and it smells really good too. It smells very neutral. It's gray. And, there, and I'm going to be doing a skincare video, I think, pretty soon because I have actually changed up my skincare quite a bit um, since the last time I talked about my skincare routine. And this is definitely part of it. So next are two moisturizers that I've been using. The first one is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. And this is a little mini, but I have a full size in my drawer. Love this mask so much. It is super hydrating, especially right now for the winter time. My skin has been kind of dry. It's also been really dull. I think ever since I turned 25, my skin found out that, oh, Rosa, you're almost 30. So let's just like start messing with your skin now. Okay, so I actually need to go and find some anti-aging products because I've been using oils and stuff for the past for years and years, but I may need something stronger because I'm noticing that my skin is starting to kind of like um, sag a little bit, which is kind of freaking me the hell out. So I just started using like masks more frequently now and things, but I think I need to get like firming products. But I have been loving this hydrating one. It really plumps up my skin. It makes it look a lot more alive in the mornings. And it's just a gel moisturizer. I actually didn't know how to use this because honestly, like it said mask, so I thought it was a mask, but then it absorbed really fast into my skin. So I thought this was a moisturizer. I wasn't sure, so I had to go on YouTube and find out how to like use this stuff. But it is so good. I use this um, every other night or every two nights because I do have another moisturizer I'm gonna talk about today that I have been obsessed with as well. And yeah, so this is the Laneige Water Sleeping Mask. And then the second moisturizer I have been using is this Bobbi Brown Extra Repair Moisturizing Balm. And this makes me so sad because it is so freaking good, you guys. Like, this is such a freaking good moisturizer. It is super firming. Like, it's so good. And it smells like freaking vapor rub, which personally I like the smell of vapor rub. And I'm so sad because I got this in a little mini kit a long, long time ago from Sephora and I just cracked it open this month because I was like, okay, I need to get through all my skincare because I have so much skincare now that I just need to get through all of it. 
So I decided to crack this open and I'm so sad because it's so good but it's $72 for the full size and I don't know if I can like actually splurge $72 for one moisturizer. So I don't know, we'll have to see. But I've been loving it. It's just, it's really thick. I actually thought it was a lip balm at first. I had to look this up to see how to use it. But no, it's for your face. It's very firming. So you just apply it kind of going up and then up your neck like this. And it is just amazing. It makes my skin feel so good the next day. It's stupid. So these two have been like kind of like a holy grail routine moisturizer thing for me. So I've been loving these two. Next, let's talk about one food item. And I'm actually gonna have a whole video in the future. I think in a couple of weeks, um, about this featuring these products because um, I've been really wanting to make like my favorite holiday drink kind of DIY video. It's Vital Proteins and this is the Wild Caught Marie Collagen Anti-Aging Dietary Supplement Unflavored. And this is seriously the best. This has been helping my nails grow and you guys know that I like never do my nails but look guys like I know it's kind of a really bad manicure but like my nails are looking like normal. Like they never freaking look normal like this. Like they're always like gross or they're been bitten off. I don't bite my nails anymore because I started putting on like uh, nail polish. But like they're grow. They used to be like gross, peely, cheapy, chipping, all that stuff. They would break all the time. But ever since I started using this, like in the beginning of the month when I got this from Gem Beauty, I've been upset. This is my favorite because I put this in my coffee every morning. And this is just how they come. They come in like individual little packs. So you use this whole pack, and that's like all you need for the whole day. And I don't know. And by the way, if I'm super, super hyper, it's because I just had Red Bull. So do you guys like it when I'm super hyper like this? Because I don't know. I'm crazy right now. But this is non-GMO verified. And it is unflavored. And I just keep this on my kitchen counter. So every time I go ahead and I do my coffee in the morning, um, I will put a pack of this as well. Okay, so now we're going to talk about kind of favorite TV shows, favorite movies that I have been watching this month. So favorite TV show of the month has to be Black Mirror and it is a Netflix original show. So you guys have Netflix, you guys need to freaking watch it. It's basically Twilight Zone on crack. It is, I have been obsessing over it and I'm so psyched because there's only three seasons so I'm waiting for the new season to come out. I'm hoping they're gonna have a new season and you can start at any episode, any season. It's not like a chronological order or anything like that. I actually thought it was when I first started because I accidentally started season three and I was like, I have no idea what's going on. So I went to season one, I started season one and then I was like, wait, this has nothing to do with nothing. So I realized that it's just like little mini um, shows. They, they can be from like 45 minutes all the way to an hour and a half each episode. So they have different scenarios and stuff. Like they're all set in the future, by the way. Everything is set in the future. So it's future. Uh, futuristic like Twilight so it's basically like Twilight Zone. You guys seriously need to watch it if you guys love Twilight Zone you are going to love Black Mirror. Oh my goodness it is the best. The next show I have loved is The Crown and if you guys haven't watched The Crown it's um, or don't know about The Crown it is based on Elizabeth II. It's about her life becoming queen and like right before she becomes queen all the way up. I think they're gonna be doing five or six seasons. The first season started this year so I binge watched that like a crazy person and I am obsessed over it. So if you guys haven't watched The Crown, you totally should. It's another Netflix original. Netflix original shows are seriously coming up, you guys. Like, they are really freaking good. And then the final show that I've been binging, I started Supernatural again. If you guys don't know, I love Supernatural. I went to Supernatural Con here in the city, uh, I think a year or two ago. I'll put that vlog down below if I still have it. I think I still have it live. Um, but I used to be obsessed with Supernatural and I stopped at season 10 because I started getting like, started getting like really repetitive and I didn't really like it anymore, but I started it back up again couple of days ago and I love it but that's not the show I want to talk about. The show that I've been binging all month next to The Crown and Black Mirror is of course Twilight Zone. I got back on the horse on Twilight Zone. Love Twilight Zone. I started again. I did like two series binge, two season binge and then um, I went back and I started back from the episode where I stopped from and I kept going. So I think now I'm like on season four because like I don't like all the Twilight Zones. The only ones that I like are like the futuristic ones or like um, like really interesting adventure ones or like ghost ones or like cyborg ones or like stuff like that. Like I don't really like the Wild West ones. There's a lot of Wild West ones and I don't really like those so I kind of skip over those. But the, that's the one thing I love about Twilight Zone and Black Mirror is that you can start wherever. It's just all random ideas that just random. So yes, I've been loving it. Those, three movie, uh, those three shows. Movies I've been loving is Zootopia. I finally watched Zootopia. Richard got it on Netflix. He goes, Zootopia Zootopia's on Netflix. Let us watch. And I was like, yes, let us watch. So we finally watched Zootopia. 
I loved it. Oh my goodness, it is such a cute little show. I love the little fat tiger. I'm still bad with names because it was like my first time watching it. But I love the little fat tiger in the front. I was like, he is like my spirit animal. I love him so much. I also saw Doctor Strange and Tell me why Doctor Strange is like an acid trip. Like it is the coolest movie. Like I don't take acid, but like I feel like if I did, like that's what I would be seeing in my eyeballs is like all these beautiful colors. I loved Doctor Strange and I kind of have a crush on Doctor Strange now. He's like my new Marvel crush. I used to like Loki, but I think I'm all about Doctor Strange now. So I mean, that is all my favorites for this month. I do have a special announcement and it has to do with this guy and I have officially started my namaste planning channel. So if you guys don't know, I plan a lot. I actually plan in this journal right here. This is an at a glance journal and it says see the sea will set you free. I love this. I got this on Amazon um, in the beginning of, where is it? The beginning of uh, July of this year and I've been using this all year. I'm a huge planner. I have three planners. I actually have to get a new to-do list. and But I am a very, very messy planner. And I have to write big all the time. Like, I'll show you examples. Like, this is what my planner looks like. Um, this is when we went to Disney. So I have like all of my outfits and stuff planned out here. So this is kind of like all compared to the Erin Condren horizontal planner, I think. But I wanted to get a brand new planner because I just wanted to get more creative. And I felt like I didn't know how to work with this planner. This is more of like an ideas planner. Like I always exit things out of this planner. I always like like white everything out in this planner. So it's kind of a messy planner. But I wanted to have like a nice, really pretty planner that I could like look at and really plan out my days and things like that. Not cross anything out and make it look weird. So I decided to invest in an Erin Condren planner and if you guys want to see the inside of this planner I will put the video down below on my newest channel which is called Namaste Planning and it's where I'm going to be doing plan with me's and monthly spreads and Etsy hauls and crafty stuff. So if you guys like those kind of videos then I will leave the link to my channel down below. I will actually start leaving the link to my channel down below in every single video. and. Um, this is my planner. This just says Wicked Fun on it. It is super cool. It actually has my channel name down here. And I love it. I'm so excited to start decorating this, this planner. So yeah, that is my huge announcement. I do have a new video. Uh, I do have a new channel. It's going to be starting in December. Constant videos every single Sunday. If I have anything extra crafty, it'll go on other days. But yes, every single Sunday I will be uploading a Plan With Me video starting in January. And I hope you guys are going to enjoy that channel because I, I'm really excited for it. Like, I'm so excited to kind of put a create a new creative spin on my life and I'm really excited to start that channel. So, yeah. But that was everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. What is your favorite of November? Let me know by leaving a comment below. Tell me what your favorite Netflix show is because right now I only have Netflix so I actually got rid of my Hulu. Or tell me what show you like in general. I am really curious to know because I'm always looking for something new to binge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't yet joined the Briar Patch fan. Bama, we have fun here all the time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.